find sin 1290 to find this we should follow this method c here we have 1290 now you should check 1290 lies between which multiples of 180 what i mean is 1290 this lies between 1260 and 1440 this is 180 into 7 and this is 180 into 4 okay 180 into 8 next now 1290 is close to which number this is close to 1260 So one two nine zero now should be replaced by one two six zero plus thirty. So this will become sine. In place of this, now we should write one two six zero plus thirty. This is your step one. Next, sine. Now one two six zero you should replace by seven into one eighty plus thirty. Next, here we have one eighty, so sine is not going to change; it will remain sine. And inside we get this angle thirty. Now the question is: Will we get here plus or minus? to answer that we should look at the number before 180 that is 7 and 7 is odd and all the odd multiples of 180 they lie in either in the second or in the third quadrant so now to select the quadrant we should look at this symbol here we have plus that means angle lies in the third quadrant and in the third quadrant sin is negative so we should put negative so negative sin 30 is 1 by 2 this is our answer